In the Valley of Gods was a cancelled single-player first-person adventure video game that was going to be developed and published by Campo Santo. The project was supposed to be the follow-up to the team's 2016 indie hit Firewatch. And let's break down what happened to the title, including the reveal, the studio being acquired by Valve, and more. As always, all the sources will be linked in the description below, so make sure to check those out and support those original writers. And with that out of the way, let's get into why In the Valley of Gods was cancelled. The game was revealed at the 2017 Game Awards with a cinematic trailer. The team was able to capture the magic of Egypt with their art style and immediately fans were sure this would be another hit for Campo Santo. The trailer is set during Egypt in the 1920s and stars Rashida and Zora who are a pair of documentary filmmakers who accidentally made it big with a movie but since then their careers have fallen off. The game is set when years later, the pair reunite after receiving information about the lost tomb of Nefertiti, and the goal of reigniting their careers by documenting their trip. The act of taking video was described by IGN as very mechanical, and the goal of the game is to have the AI of the world react to the fact that it's being filmed, such as a hawk doing something specific because you're shooting it. And IGN also confirmed at the reveal the game had been in development for less than a year. The website for the game was launched at the same time as the reveal, and the team included a fact page. They start by saying the game is in no way related to Firewatch in terms of story, and the team doesn't have a release date yet, but they expect the game to launch sometime in 2019. The team said they first were planning the game to release on PC and could eventually move to other platforms, and the game is being developed by 12 people, which is only slightly larger than the Firewatch team. I will close out this section by saying the team made a blog post in March of 2018 that went in depth on how they created Zora's hair. The blog is very interesting for all the depth the team was going in for these characters, and how no one on the team had even created hair before. They include a bunch of behind the scenes assets from the game, and I would highly recommend you check that out if you are interested. They also include how they created the trailer, and include cutscenes that were completely finished but didn't make it into the final cut. But at this point, you need to know the game was fully in development and the game was expecting a relatively quick turnaround from reveal to release. And up until March of 2018, the team was still moving forward with development. Then everything changed in April of 2018 when it was announced that Campo Santo was being acquired by Valve. The studio gave their reason why they wanted to move forward in the partnership in another blog post on their website. They say the core values of Valve match with Campo Santo, so a merger became an obvious match. What's interesting is the team started by saying they were still making In the Valley of Gods as a Valve game, and would still support Firewatch and everything else the team has promised up to this point. The team reaffirmed that In the Valley of Gods was still in development in May of 2018 during a phone interview with IGN, and everything seemed to be the same except now Campo Santo was a part of Valve. Unfortunately, we know that it doesn't last. The first rumor and speculation that the project was cancelled was in November of 2019, over a year after the last official statement from the team, and at the end of the initial release window for the game. PC Gamer reported that three of the lead developers, which include the 3D environment artist, art director, and co-founder all removed In the Valley of the Gods from their Twitter bios, and the change was done recently. Also keep in mind Half-Life Alex was officially announced in November of 2019, and a lot of fans were already speculating the team could be shifting to work on that title. All the worries were confirmed in December of 2019 by Polygon. The Campo Santo co-founder confirmed that In the Valley of the Gods was put on hold, and the direct quote to Polygon said, To fans looking forward to In the Valley of Gods, it's probably clear that the optimistic 2019 at the end of the announcement trailer isn't going to be accurate. In the end, Valve time makes fools of us all. But yes, Developers from the former Campo Santo team have joined other projects at Valve, including Half-Life Alex. As you can imagine, our experience in the first-person adventure genre is pretty relevant. You hear a lot about how at Valve you can work on what you want. It turns out that's true, and there's a lot of work available. 
As we integrated ourselves into Valve, it became clear there was a lot of valuable work to be done on Half-Life Alex. Some of us started lending a hand and have since become full time on the project as it approaches launch. Similarly, some ex-campos are working on Dota Underlords, some are on Steam, and so on. So to answer your question, as of today, In the Valley of Gods development is on hold, but it certainly feels like a project people can and may return to, and when that happens, we'll find an exciting way to let fans know. And this was disappointing. In the Valley of Gods was something completely new, and it seemed like so much work had been done on the project already. But if we take the statement at face value, at least the developers weren't forced off the project. It sounds like instead, a portion of the developers made the choice to work on other projects themselves. It doesn't make it any less tragic, especially because I don't see the team returning to this title anytime soon. I would love to be wrong, but I would find it unlikely that Valve would put any effort into returning to this title. And that is what happened to In the Valley of Gods. While not technically cancelled, being on hold indefinitely effectively cancelled the project. Either way, that's where I'm going to end this video. Make sure to like and share, subscribe for weekly gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one.